this thing up? Your seatbelt is unbuckled. I didn't hear you the first time saying that. Please tell me again. Alright. If you're watching from the previous video, I'm about to leave LA area, head up to Bakersfield. the whole thing, you know, waving his hands back and forth and from 200 feet away, expecting me to figure out what the hell he wanted. Especially, I mean, I was setting up to back in because it looked obvious that that's what I needed to do, but he stopped me and started waving his hands around and shit. So I thought that meant he wanted me to do it the other way. So I nosed in, and then he comes out with his hands like this, like, and gets up, can I help you? I'm trying to get a wash out. Well, back it in then. <laughs> okay, asshole. Everybody. Everybody expects you to just know what they mean by waving their hands in the air with no, like, actual direction. Like this. Like forward, backward.
debating whether I should take the northern route or the southern route. Besides the fact that the southern route adds 200 miles to a trip, the weather's going to be the same just about as it is going north as it is going south. Anyway, I only got about four hours to drive today. So, I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to go yet. and a Flying J in Mon uh, Monolith. Mon yeah, Monolith, I think. Monmouth. Anyway, about 45 minutes east. I'll stop in there if I can see if I can find a place to park. And then if not, I, I'll start a couple hours to go look. In a hurry, aren't you? Such a hurry to beat me to that red light. Uh, he ran the red light, so that's why. Diesel got some sleep. I didn't get no sleep. But Diesel got some sleep. Or she did. She did. Diesel? I saw where those things are. Can you imagine growing up here, having this beautiful mountain range, and then they did that to it? <laughs> Ravens or crows, and what's the difference? I really don't know. I spent the last 10 minutes trying to figure out the difference between ravens and crows. Basically, without hearing them make a, or do their call, I couldn't tell you, unless you want to measure them, or get a good enough look to see the different shapes of their skulls, because it, there's not a lot of difference. There are, uh, ravens are a little bit bigger. They make a different sound. Their heads are sl shaped slightly different. Other than that, they're like the same bird. Everything else looks the same. I feel like I'd recognize a crow. I don't know. Crows usually are noisy. They're usually making some kind of noise. So I'm going to assume those are ravens. Because they're not going, ah!
I was gonna go up to Beaver to that truck stop. Hey, how are they drive? Lucky Star, I'm coming 10 8 on the van, buddy. <clears throat> I was gonna go another 70-ish miles north to that truck stop in Beaver, Utah. But then I realized I haven't had a shower in three days. And now that I had that hot ass shower, it hit me like a ton of bricks, man. I'm toast. Uh, if I can manage to stay up for a couple hours, I'm even slurring my words a little bit. It hit me hard. Felt fine and I had a hot shower and I'm just mm. but uh but um but um but um if I can manage to stay up a couple hours I don't want to roll until daybreak in the morning so I can get some more footage of the beautiful mountains it just feels super unsatisfying to drive through all the pretty stuff and you can't see it what is your deal? Why are you so upset? Well, come here. Oh. He's so frustrated. Is he hungry? I bet he's hungry. You a hungry boy? You need some food? All right, I'll feed you. I remember when I said I was going to get up the crack of dawn, and it didn't happen. That's blowing snow this afternoon. This should be uh, anything impactful. I'll tell you, <laughs> I pretty much lost all the fat I need to lose, and now I'm trying to put on muscle. It is exceedingly difficult to meet protein needs on the road. Like, there's just not as much protein and stuff as you would think there is, and then you have to eat so much more, but then I'm still trying to keep my calories you know, right at that, you know, main, maintenance level. I don't want to eat too many calories, but I need more protein. It's a pain in the ass. I'm gonna get some protein shakes and stuff next time I go home and have some creatine powder or something. I mean, I just can't keep up with the protein I need and eat healthy and not have a too many calories and stuff. It's like, Bugs has these little pouches of grilled chicken. Still only like 26 grams of protein for $5.
Come on, buddy. Hey. I'm not done yet. I uh, plan if everything goes okay. There's some snow around Cheyenne, but it looks like it's kind of on the south side. You know, south of 80. So I'm planning to try to get to through there and get into Burns, Wyoming. Because there's a uh, truck parking area on the south side of I-80 across from the TA there that usually, usually has parking. But I stopped at the Loves because I have shower credits and I'm trying to see if I can get a shower real quick. Because where I'm going there won't be one and I'm trying to be better about showering as much as possible. Because I can kind of let it slip a little too long sometimes. and. You know, you, you get a couple of days where you could have had a shower and you don't. But then you get in a couple of spots where there's not a shower available. So the next thing you know, it's been, a, you know, close to a week without a shower. And it's not good for your skin, not good for your health. So I'm trying to get to make sure I get a shower most days, if not every day. Try it again tomorrow. There's better weather, better conditions. Oh, it's uh, three o'clock in the afternoon. I had a real hard time getting to sleep when I got here last night. And I'm in no hurry, so I slept in a little bit today.
something I didn't think I could actually do in a truck that was governed. I'm going to try to make it there today. Or at least to Des Moines today. Because uh, Ankeny's 20 miles north of Des Moines. I'm pretty certain I can make it to the Loves in Des Moines. Kevin, right put your wine in. We ain't done. says it's a five hour five and a half hour drive I have six hours left I almost made it I mean there's a slight chance I could have made it but I mean just barely and since it's not due until tomorrow afternoon I'm not gonna risk it and screw up get a log violation so I can be a little bit closer to whatever well got a couple of different things going on this morning or uh, evening they had me on a load picking up in Perry going up to Lamar's for tomorrow morning but then after my dispatch went home somebody in the night shift called me and wanted me to go grab this load from Storm Lake going down to Sherman <sighs> problem is the load that I'm going home on is going to be in Lamar's so they're going to have me go to Sherman, try to find me something coming back up north, and then have that load brought to me. That load and some robot parts. I know that sounds weird, but somebody in the office uh, has a, a relative or something that builds like competition robot stuff, and they have parts up there that they need down there, so they're going to pay me $100 to go basically hand deliver it to that dude, which is cool. I mean, it's extra hundred bucks for me, so I'm not complaining. But we'll see how all that works out. First of all, my load's not ready yet. I just called Storm Lake. It's not ready, so I'm not gonna start my clock until it gets closer to being ready. Because all I gotta do is run over, drop this load at Hy-Vee in Ankeny, which is 30 minutes down the road, uh, grab an empty, maybe get it washed out if it needs one, top it off with fuel and then head towards Storm Lake. Okay. Whoa. 